politics over the inauguration of the historic Boggy Bill Bridge started barely a day after Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared the structure open. The Sam Congress on Wednesday attacked the centre for not inviting former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to the inauguration. The Sam Leader of Opposition and Senior Congress Leader Devabrata Saikya while commenting on the issue said it is very unfortunate that the BJP-led government did not invite former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to the inauguration ceremony. Saikya also took exception to the Prime Minister's remark that the previous UPA government did not focus on development. A national asset and uh, uh, it is uh, done by the taxpayers' money. The Prime Minister and the BJP has shown uh, politically their colour but by not inviting the former Prime Ministers who sanctioned the project, who released funds and also they did not... Uh, national uh, government event has been made a political event to catch votes by the BJP as they are not able to deliver on many things. If that was not all, former Prime Minister H.D. Devagora also expressed his disappointment at not being invited for inauguration of the country's longest rail cum road bridge in Assam. It may be mentioned here that it was during Devagora's tenure as Prime Minister back in 1997 that the foundation for the structure, the Bogeyville Bridge, was laid. Speaking on the sidelines of a function, the former Prime Minister said the rail line to Kashmir Delhi Metro and Bogibil Railroad Bridge were among the projects he had sanctioned as Prime Minister. The Bogibil Bridge is a mega infrastructure project costing the nation close to rupees 6,000 crore. It is the longest rail cum road bridge in the country that links Assam's Dhemaji and Dibrugarh districts. The bridge is of extreme strategic importance as it would facilitate faster movement of troops and military hardware to the Chinese frontier in Arunachal Pradesh, besides drastically reducing the time of travel from Assam to Arunachal. With inputs from Santu Das from Guwahati and Gaurav Sharma, Bureau Report, Northeast Live.